When running display campaigns, I've had a lot of success using managed placements. If we already know where our target audience likes to be online, it makes complete sense to try to utilize Google's display network and get our ads in front of more of those types of users on those specific placements. This is easy enough to do. We can just use our placement reports, find out where our ads are being shown, look at the KPIs, and then put our ads on those websites. Now, besides just using the placement reports, I love to use Google Analytics. And now there's a certain tool within Google Analytics or a certain report that we can use that gives me a lot of great ideas of where I should start testing out new managed placements. And I'm gonna share that with you right now. Today's video is brought to you by Shape, an all-in-one PVC budgeting solution that'll allow you to control, organize, and collaborate on ad spend at scale. You ready to start saving some time? Good, well then click on the link below and you can learn all about Shape. When you are in Google Analytics, head to the acquisition report, then click on all traffic, and then select referrals. Here we will see a list of all the sources that have sent traffic to your website. Initially in the acquisition area, it'll be sorted by the most sessions or possibly users to your website. Now with your display campaigns, if the goal is to drive more traffic, this could be the valuable view that you want to see right off the bat. But that is typically not how I use referral data to boost my display campaigns. I wanna head over to the right-hand side where we see conversions. Now in this particular account, it defaulted to e-commerce, and this exact analytics account does not run e-commerce. But I just wanted to show you in case you do have any sort of e-commerce on your website. Maybe your goal is to just increase overall sales. So you may wanna sort by the most transactions. Maybe you wanna find more users who are gonna drive more revenue. You can sort by revenue. All right, let's switch it over to all goals. We see Google Analytics is still sorting by the most sessions. I am going to click and sort on the most goal completions. Now I can see which referral sources that are driving traffic to my website are driving the most goal completions that I have set up within Google Analytics. Now since we went away from the e-commerce view and we're looking at all goals, we see a goal conversion rate. Again, another option for you to sort. If you wanna to try to target a new audience who is more likely to convert, there really is no right or wrong. You just have to look at what your goals are and how you might want to expand the reach on a target audience that you wanna get in front of because you know they can convert. So whether you're looking to get more transactions, revenue, you want a higher conversion rate list, a goal completions list, you will have a nice set of URLs that we can finally do some research on. So my next step is I'm going to export this list. Again, I'm looking at the most goal completions from my referral source traffic. And for the sake of this video, I've already exported a list so we can kind of get a quick review of how I dig into these sources. So let's jump into Excel. Okay, so here's the acquisition traffic referral report from Google Analytics we're gonna to wanna to go into the first data set tab that we see on the bottom. No, Google Analytics is not gonna highlight certain URLs for you. I did this proactively just to make sure that you are paying attention to these particular URLs. Now, when I exported this list, I did not have any filters, so I did not block out any of the social media sources. And I can get rid of these extra columns if I really just wanna focus on my main goal, which is driving more goal completions. The first thing I would do is I would look at all the sources remove any rows that I think would not be valuable or I would not want to even research if I could put display ads on these particular websites. And again, keep in mind of the URLs that I have highlighted, we are gonna see them really soon. So let's assume we have a good list of URLs that we wanna to try to get ads placed on. Let's take this list and now let's jump into Google Ads. I have Google Ads popped up. I'm already looking at creating a new ad group for my display campaigns and I wanna target specific placements on the display network. So to find that, we need to scroll down to content expand the content targeting, and then choose placements. Now advertisers have the opportunity to look for websites, apps, videos, on where we want our ads to be placed. Now since we're talking about specific placement targeting, I wanna highlight this last sentence that Google warns you about. If a specific website you target has an equivalent app, your ads can also show there. So if you are really against app placements, we do have another video where you can exclude mobile app categories. So go check out that one to make sure that you're trying to keep your placements purely to just domains and websites. So for going back to that Excel list really quick, you probably noticed that I had two color categories. Those URLs were highlighted in green or red. I'm gonna start with the green ones first because I had two different colors for a reason. So I'm gonna take some of those URLs that were on that Excel file that had a good amount of conversions and see if I can put my display ads on those particular websites. And by just typing in a few keywords and searching for those domains, I'm already finding some of these websites. Now, if I was actually setting up a real display ad account that I wanted to use, I would keep going and try to find a good amount of selections, but I wanna keep moving on to the next part. There were also a few URLs that were highlighted in red. These were URLs where I couldn't find specific websites, 
But when I researched them, I could still try to get my display ads on these particular YouTube channels. So while these particular brands may not allow display ads on their websites, you could still get in front of users who are interested in these websites and these brands by seeing if they have particular YouTube channels or YouTube videos that will allow your display ads. Now you can see it just took me a few minutes to export a list of converting referral placements, research them when creating a new display ad group, and I searched for them on particular websites and channels, and now I have a really small list that did not take me a lot of time to see if I can get my display ads on these channels. And like any managed placement targeting, I can check out these websites, I can check out these channels or these YouTube videos, get a feel for how these brands are, and possibly that might influence how I design my ad creative so I can make assets that'll have the biggest impact when I am targeting these managed placements. Now you could be thinking, okay, Joe, your initial list of URLs was pretty long and only a few URLs here and there were actually showing up as part of the display network. I've also had the case when I've used this own strategy in accounts where none of my converting referrals are even eligible for placements. I can't find them at all, not even an app related placement. So then what do you do? My first recommended alternative would be to go to audience manager. Then I wanna select custom audiences, and then let's create a new custom audience. And in this case, I'm gonna choose custom affinity. Now, typically I do not use the basic affinity audiences because Google even describes them as TV like demographic audiences. And to me, the reach of those are really wide. None of my clients have a massive, massive enterprise budget, but I do like to create custom affinity audiences and using these referral placement ideas is the perfect opportunity to do so. Looking at what Google says, we're gonna create our audience by adding relevant interests, URLs, places, or apps. So I can take a list of the URLs I had in my referral placements and just paste them in there. All of these options were on that export I pulled from Google Analytics, but not all of these were options where I could find actual placements. So now I can use this as a targeting option for my display campaigns to reach users who have shown interest in these websites at some form in the past. I'm just gonna create this one and go to another alternative we can do using referral placement ideas. Let's go in and create another custom audience this time custom intent. Custom intent audiences are usually more specific. We can add in keywords, URLs, products, whatever the audience might be actively researching. I like to say these users are more in the buy now mode. They're trying to find an answer. They're looking for a solution. So again, you do have the option to just paste all your URLs and hit enter. And then what's different with custom intent audiences is that Google's gonna give you additional ideas to add to this audience. If everything looks good there, you could save this custom intent audience and again, use it as a targeting option for your display campaigns. It is really important that I note that when you're creating custom affinity and custom intent audiences based off of URLs, you are not placing your ads on these websites. These are not remarketing lists that you're creating from these particular domains. You cannot do that unless your remarketing code is on these websites. Right? We are creating an audience of users who are interested in these websites so as they're visiting other websites on the Google Display Network, your ads can still appear in front of this target audience. So kind of recap a little bit, the order I would go in for sure would be going in and creating a display ad group and see if you can find referral placements that are helping you achieve your goal, either driving more revenue, getting more goal conversions, and see if you can find managed placements on websites, YouTube channels, YouTube videos, and possibly apps that are all part of the display network. If you're not getting a large volume of those referral placements, use those ideas to create custom audiences within Google Ads and reach users who have shown an interest in the websites that you have suggested or might be actively researching on those particular websites. While they're not as exact as direct placements and you're not creating a remarketing list from those other websites, you can still utilize your top referral traffic to get in front of the right target audience using display ads with Google. I love using referral traffic placements as a new idea to test for managed placements. If you have an SEO team that's doing great link building, if you have a PR team that's getting the word out there and getting good free press, which is also linking back to your website, hopefully you're tracking all that within Google Analytics. We can then look at our referrals report, see which of those URLs are converting best, or if you're still just focused on awareness, which ones are driving quality traffic that is engaging on your website. Use that information to export those URLs, research them on the Google Display Network, and see if they offer ad space. We can then use those placements within our Google Display campaigns to test out a variety of new URLs. And this is gonna be very beneficial for us to find somewhere where your target audience already likes to be online, and it's gonna be hopefully give you much more engaging results. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos. 